Alrighty trainers, welcome back to Raid Royale. This is Taken Adventures, and this video is part of a three-part series talking about the forces of nature in Pokemon Go. This is part two of three here. In last episode, we talked about Tornadus and how to beat a Tornadus raid in Pokemon Go. Today, we'll be focusing on another force of nature, Thunderous, both its incarnate and its Therian form. Now, the difference between the two forms is very similar to the difference between Tornadus incarnate and Tornadus Therian. So let me just flash these stats on screen right now. Tornadus Incarnate Form has the stats of a Glass Cannon, very high attack stat 266, and very low defensive stats of base 164 and 188 HP. Now it is an electric and flying type, meaning that it will have its fair share of electric type attacks, such as Thunder Shock for its fast move, Thunder, and Thunder Punch for its charge moves, and for the rest of its moves, we have Astonish for its other fast move, and and crunch and brick break for its other charge moves. Now for the Ethereum form, it gets an even higher base attack here of 295 base attack. The defense and HP still remains fairly poor, so it's more of a glass cannon than Tornadus Incarnate form. But still, Tornadus Ethereum form, don't get me wrong, that base attack is huge. Now for an electric and flying type, its weaknesses will be rock and ice type moves. And to take advantage of stab, I definitely recommend bringing rock and ice type Pokemon here. But to just be careful here because Thunderous has Brick Break, so it'll deal super effective damage on both the Rock and the Ice types. So basically, the counters I'm gonna list off for you are either Rock or Ice types, but you just gotta be careful of Brick Break here because uh, Brick Break is gonna do a lot of damage, especially with that very high attack stat. And of course, the super effective damage that Rock and Ice types take from Brick Break. So yeah, just be careful of Brick Break. So first up on the list are the Rock types, and definitely the three best Rock types types in the game so far are Rhyperia, Tyranitar, and Terrakion. I have been mentioning these three names a lot on the channel recently, and for good reason, because Rhyperia has some of the best TDOs in the entire game, especially with Rock Wrecker. Considering Rhyperia's stats, Rhyperia can really dish out that consistent damage. It can tank a lot of hits, especially the electric type hits, because Rhyperia is immune to electric type attacks. But don't get me wrong, Tyranitar and Terrakion are still pretty awesome thunderous counters. In fact, their DPS is pretty darn high actually. Now if you want a more glass cannon pick, Rempados will be your best bet because Rempados, as you can see, has a very high attack stat, base 295 attack. So naturally with its high attack stat comes very high DPS, but its sad defense stat means that its TDO will not be high, so Rempados will not have much longevity in a battle, especially if you're up against a Brick Brick Thunderous. That's gonna be a very big oof for your Rempados. And of course, of course, honourable mention goes to Gigalith here, or a uh, Gigalith actually. DPS isn't that great, its TDO isn't looking too good either, but I just want to put it on this list. Just because Gigalith is a very solid Pokemon, no pun intended, decent attack stat, decent defense stat, pretty okay I guess. I mean, it doesn't have Rock Wrecker or any hard hitting rock type charge moves, so Smackdown and Rock Slide is honestly the best move set on a Jigglyth. Now for the Ice types, you want a Mamoswine, of course, it's decently bulky, very good attack stat, very good TDO as well. Its DPS is very similar to Tyranitar's actually, so it's definitely got the offenses as well as the stats to back it up here. Now if you want even more DPS, definitely go for a Weavile here, but you just gotta watch out for Brick Break, because Weavile is four times a week to Brick Break. Weavile is the very definition of glass cannon. It's got good attack stat, but its defenses are pretty low. 171 base defense and 172 base HP is definitely not something you would want to write home about. I have the same sentiment for Glaceon as well, actually. It's got very good DPS, similar to a Tyranitar's DPS. Unfortunately, its TDO doesn't really compare to a Tyranitar's or a Rhyperia's, so I would say that Glaceon is a good Pokemon to have on a Thunderous Raid, but it's not excellent. And if you want to take Mega Evolution into consideration, definitely consider using a Mega Abomasnow. Mega Abomasnow is a monster when it comes to ice type DPS, especially with ice type weather ball. Mega Abomasnow can deal out massive damage here. Good DPS, decent TDO, so I would definitely say that Mega Abomasnow has the goods in a thunderous raid here. Honorable mentions go to Galarian Darmanitan as well as Kyurem. These are pretty new additions to the ice type roster and I wouldn't exactly consider them good 
Galerian Dalmanitan is too glassy for my taste. It's got really good DPS, don't get me wrong, but its lack of a solid defense stat as well as the lackluster TDO means that it's hardly gonna deal any consistent damage here. On the other hand, Kyurem has pretty solid TDO here, but its DPS is rather lacking because its fast move isn't super effective. Kyurem has pretty well-rounded stats here, but because its fast move isn't super effective on Thunderous, that bumps Kyurem down slightly in terms of the DPS department. As for the ideal group size to take on a Thunderous in tier 5 raids, both the Incarnate and the Ethereum form can be taken on with 4 to 6 trainers, but of course 4 to 6 is just a general rule of thumb here. As for the 100% IV CPs, for the Incarnate form, it'll be 23.89 in weather boosted conditions, which is rainy and windy weather, and 19.11 for non weather boosted conditions. For the Ethereum form, it'll be 26.14 for weather boosted conditions, and 20.91 for non weather boosted conditions. Alrighty, trainers, so that basically concludes my Thunderous Raid Guide here in Pokemon Go. Stay tuned for part 3 of 3 of this series about the forces of nature in Pokemon go next episode we'll be talking about landorus both its incarnate and therian forms and i may be doing some further comparisons on the incarnate and the therian forms of tonidus thunderous and landorus so stay tuned for part three of the series on the forces of nature in pokemon go and until then i will be seeing you next time this has been taken adventures you have just watched raid royale and peace out